To create things like material legends and symbol keys, uh, Revit has preloaded a legend view. Um, legend views are also pretty handy for things like window elevations, door elevations, um, and I use them a lot for general notes. Basically anything uh, that you need to drag on other sheets, legend views are pretty good for. Uh, to create a new legend view, uh, first go to the top and click on view, pull down to new, and then legend. Uh, give it a name, in this case we'll make a general notes list, and click OK. Uh, when you do that, Revit will open up a brand new uh, empty legend view, um, and if you go to the browser window, um, there is a legends category, and if you expand that, you can see the new general notes legend has been added. Um, here you can go to the tool tray, and in the drafting tray, choose text, and you can start um, adding any text that you need to. I'll click in the white space to get out of the text tool. Uh, you can also um, draw in lines for titles. And um, as you add more text, Revit will automatically try to line up paragraphs for you as well if you hover over the area that you want to add. Click to uh, start typing, and you can add to the list. And I'll click again to get out of the tool. Once you have the legend set up basically the way you want it to appear in a sheet, you can then uh, drag it onto a new sheet um, by uh, going to the browser window, finding the sheet, and double-clicking on it to bring it up. Then in the browser window, go back to the legend you created, um, click and hold it, and then uh, drag it over and release and click to place it into uh, the sheet. Once it's selected, you can always grab it and drag it into place. Legends are good tools for general notes lists because it provides you one central location uh, that you can edit, um, but you can drag it onto as many sheets as you need to. Uh, legend views are also pretty handy for window elevations. Uh, to gr create one for a window or a door elevation, go back to the top and create a new legend view. Uh, drag down to new and then legend. Uh, in this case, I'll name it window elevations. Click OK. This uh, opens up a new legend and this time if you go down to uh, the window browser, uh, you can you'll notice uh, that there's a families category. If you click to expand that, you'll see every component that's been loaded into the project. It's this place that you actually will find the component you want to drag onto the new legend. In this case, it will be a window component. Um, so I'll scroll down to the windows, click to expand the windows category, um, and I can I need to expand again the subcategory, Then I can click on the window I want um, while holding down uh, drag it into the view, into the view and release and then click once more to place the window onto the legend sheet. I'll place one more uh, window next to it. Um, Revit also wants to line up components. Once you do this, um, Revit first will will place uh, the window in uh, plan view. You can always change this by selecting the window you want. If you go up to the options bar at the top of the uh, window um, under view there's a pull down list and you can change this to a front elevation or a back elevation. I can do the same for the other window. Um, once you have them where you want them and dragged into place you can um, add text and um, you can even um, dimension them. Once you have uh, your windows dimensioned the way you want, um, you can use the same process um, and drag this um, onto a new empty sheet um, for your window elevations, for example.